me, let me just bring Courtney in for a minute because I got a different theory on Jay Powell. Hmm. I think Jay Powell, A, I agree with, uh, I agree with Jennifer in the sense that he will, he is determined never to have a recession. Yeah. I don't think he wants the flashing lights of a recession. Uh, he is proud of this recovery. He thinks the Fed really engineered this uh, recovery from the Great Recession. Yeah. And he is ready to be preemptive. Yeah, I mean, that's one way of looking at it. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that we're having this conversation of interest rates getting lowered, given how well the economy is doing and continues to do. Right, but that's old Fed thinking. See, right. that's what I'm saying. Wall Street keeps Fair. thinking about the old Fed. I'm saying the Powell Fed has made it clear. They are going to be preemptive. Yeah. They are going to make sure we never even get close to recession. Because think about the last five rate cut cycles. Yeah. It began with 50 basis points, 50 basis oh, points. Yeah. We had 100 basis points. We began one with 150 basis points. What does that mean? The Fed always gets behind the curve, I think he's definitely afraid of that. But this actually happened in the past. If you look at since 1971, every time the Fed has cut interest rates in an expanding economy, 100% of the time, the markets have actually improved over the next three, six, nine, even 12 months. Actually, on average, the S&P 500 has done very, very well. If it keeps on that track, we could see the S&P 500 about 3,500 by next April. 3,500 in, in a one-year period or less. Over a one, less, nine, that's a nine-month period, wow. actually.